All right, so today we are giving you a full rundown slash installation on a knee control for an 1165V. Here's a quick rundown of what you'll get and what you'll need as well. You get your main bracket. This is the uh, bracket that rocks back and forth, which your knee touches. We have our neoprene uh, with a metal backing plate for the cushion. We have a new neutral lever system. So the existing one will get removed. This will take its place. And this is the middle pivot that goes between your two connecting rods. Now these are stainless steel connecting rods. This is the shorter lower connecting rod. And this is what you would call the vertical upper connecting rod. Now, if you have an 1165V with the side table or the auxiliary side table, it will already have these side plates mounted on it. Um, but if you do not have the auxiliary side table, you will not get these and you will have shorter bolts with washers instead. Now, as far as tools, it's a real simple setup. Again, I got my handy dandy 916 socket with a wrench set from 7 16 half inch, 9 16 and I have a 5 30 seconds Allen key as well to tighten the button heads my neoprene cushion onto the main mount. This installation will probably take you 15 20 minutes in that range and we're going to go ahead and start by mounting our main brackets to the frame. So here's our machine. Now keep in mind that if you had that auxiliary side table these plates will be mounted just like this. So what you're going to do is remove the nut and remove the bolts off these two plates. If you don't have that auxiliary side table, you will not have this, so that's not a concern. But go ahead, remove the stock bolts that came with it, and grab the two longer bolts that came with the machine. So now you can go ahead, take your two longer bolts, put them through the bracket, and slide it through the frame. Then go ahead, if you have your auxiliary side table, place the brackets back over, and from there, we'll get up these nuts on there. And we're not going to tighten it quite yet because we got more 916 bolts to go. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and install this rear pivot. If you have that auxiliary side table, go ahead and remove the stock bolts that you have. So you'd push these out. Then take your longer bolts from your kit. Put it through again. and reinstall your plates for your side table. From there, we can go ahead, toss our nuts back on. So from there, since we have both, both brackets uh, mounted, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna nicely tighten those up. And you want them good and tight. We don't want them um, too loose. There we go, that is done. Next, we'll grab our neoprene knee pad. Go ahead, grab your Allen key. Remove the two button heads and really simply go ahead and just mount it right in this position here. Tighten these up so they're good and tight. Just make sure that Allen key is all the way seated so we don't uh, have any issues in the future. And there we go. That function is there, looks good. Next in the list is our neutral lever. Now, this neutral lever is a whole bolted assembly. This will all come tight, ready to go. You should not need to do any adjusting on this piece. We're gonna go ahead, remove the existing control, and you wanna use a half inch wrench. Now, if you got a 13 millimeter, it might be slightly easier as it's a little bit tight for a half inch, but a little wiggle on there. And from there, we can turn it off. We have a little bit more. Keep in mind that the valve is going to want to spring up right away. Now this piece here we're removing and we're not going to reuse. Keep it around though just in case you need the spring steels in the future or some other part off of it. We'll go ahead, take our new assembly, and we're going to remount it on there. So we'll start like that. Take our finger. Hold it down. Then we're going to turn 
the valve handle in there all the way as far as we can go see how that nut is backed off all the way to the shoulder there's no existing thread so we want to turn that valve handle as far as we can go and it will it will automatically find its flat position because there is a machine shoulder in this new one as well that interfaces the the, uh, the valve so you do not need to be concerned about side to side movement it will automatically find its home and from there you can simply put your half inch wrench on again and we can go ahead and retighten that nut. There we go. Looks really good. Next part is the lower connecting rod. Now, this connecting rod has been preset in lengths. You do not need to readjust this. You'll see the eyes are tight and cannot be moved, and there's no need to adjust this any further. So, what you want to do is put this side on first. And so, what you'll do is remove the nut swivel it back thread the bolt through now this is threaded so this secondary nut is basically just a jam nut and you'll go ahead grab your 7 16 wrench tighten the bolt into the bracket good and tight take your nut place it on the back side as a jam and tighten the jam nut back up against the plate and now that is a tight assembly and from there we can swing this forward which is why we do this joint first because in the swung in the, in the operating position, it's hard to get. And then we can go ahead and do this second eye. Same thing. Swivel this. Insert our bolt. Tighten the bolt into the bracket. Install the nut on the back side. There we go. And now you can see we have a nice tight control. There's no slop or play in it. And this section, this section's all tight. All right, last piece is our vertical shaft or control rod. You start by sliding it through the top eye, just like that right there and hold it there, come down, remove your nut, start your thread, and I'm just going to put my knee under it just to hold it up. Okay, same thing, we're going to go ahead Tighten that down to that bracket. Take our jam nut. And there we go. All right, so now that all of our hardware is in place, ready for fine tuning, we gotta to touch two pieces. First thing we're gonna do is go ahead. You'll see this long bolt here does not need to get moved. That set the factory. So all we're gonna do is take it, hold this against, against the stop with our knee. Then we're going to come along and we're going to turn this connecting rod upright. Now you'll see this joint down here is loose. And we're going to simply turn this in the upwards position till it's about, you know, a big sixteenth, maybe 80 thousandths away from that fitting you see there. So we're going to go a little farther, a little farther. Ah, that's good enough. And from there, turn our nut up. And go ahead and we will tighten this and jam the two together and that's been now set so a good 16th away so that is now set and then what we got to do is we got to set our return position so all we're going to do is you'll see right here we have our stop position and we are going to bring this down 
So that all we got to do is if we trigger this by hand, this does not come off the top. So you can see that we have about a quarter inch on top. That's a little too much. We're going to take this and we're going to turn it in maybe another half a turn. That's perfect. See how there's about an eighth of an inch on top of that there? That's exactly what we want it to look like. And on the back side, you'll see there's a nut. We can go ahead and we can tighten that nut. It's a jam nut again because the plate is threaded. The bolt on this side, and we're going to tighten the two together. And now that is tight as well. So now we can go ahead, double check, make sure that we have about eighth of an inch of clearance. So this cannot come off, which is perfect. And we'll go ahead trigger the knee control and we have a little bit of clearance in the fitting there and that is exactly what we want so that now knee control is fully installed fully tested last thing to do is we'll fire it up and make sure it works If you got a lifter, check that lifter as well. So that's how easy the installation of this knee control on the 1165V is. Now, if you got questions or you're not sure exactly how something goes, give us a call at the office, shoot us an email. But after you have it installed, give it that good dry run. Run it with the motor, double check it, make sure it's functioning properly. And when you're ready to split, turn that machine down to half throttle. Get used to the function, get some experience on it, and then increase the RPMs as after you have that good experience. You know, other than that, the knee control is a great option. It's super safe. It's good and comfortable and, uh, you know, enjoy the machine and happy splitting.